Oh boy. It's dark. It's cold. And I guess I need to get up. <laughs> oh, all right. Thank you, flat piece of ground in these cabins. What a place to land last night. Ah, it's a little hard to pack up in the cold, but I did it. And you know, one of the big differences I'm realizing between race Ryan and just touring Ryan is it's like, just go, go, go all the time. So I don't really have time to get the shots that I would normally get and set up the tripod and all that because I'm scrambling, which is an interesting feeling. Not good, not bad, but uh, just an observation. It's about uh, a little bit four six. Time to roll. Here we go, here we go. I know when I sit on this seat, it's gonna be a little tender. <laughs> Have a good day, everybody. See you later, cheers. Bye bye. Whew, whew. I'm really grateful that it's not raining right now. I do not like packing up in the rain, but the sky definitely doesn't look very friendly. <laughs> Here we go, here we go, here we go. No flatties, no crashies, no whammies. About 50 miles to the US border. Camping with that many people last night, it was probably 15 or 20, definitely adds a feeling of security. It's nice to be around other people and commiserate and talk about our days. But it also gets me up really early. People start waking up at two in the morning. It's a good thing though, it motivates me to get moving. And I got a good night's sleep, which is great. That's the most important part. Probably went to sleep around 10-ish. Woke up around 4.30. I just biked up on this. What is this, grizzly diarrhea? Or is it bike packer diarrhea from one too many energy bars? I don't know. Looks pretty fresh. <laughs> Poop cam. Oh, I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, my heart is going thump, 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 and I'm warm and it is beautiful. This is like a magical fairy tale forest. It's so green. Oh, here we go. Good morning, good morning, girl. Go get them. So I just caught up with my friend David. Met him the first night as he was going up Coco. He did Coco in the night. Where'd you sleep last night? Well, I found myself a pit toilet at about 10.30 at night. It was about four foot by four foot, and it was a heck of a lot better than being out in the rain. <laughs> it didn't smell too bad? I mean, it had a pretty good lid on it, so it sealed up pretty tight. Uh, I mean, we're talking about a port john here, so did it smell great? No. <laughs> But you were warm and happy. I was warm. I had no rain on my me or my tent, so everything was great. That's awesome. You having fun so far? Oh yeah, this is uh, why we're here, right? Yep. Have Mother Nature punch us a few times and try to come out on the other side. So there's a little precipitation coming down and it's kind of like sleet, snow, it's not rain. And if I look up, not that far, the trees have a dusting of snow. So I wouldn't be surprised when we get to the top of this pass that we're gonna see some real deal snow. <laughs> not my favorite thing to deal with, but uh, the goal is just to get up and over, get out of the cold stuff. That's when bad things happen. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning. How you feeling, girl? Much better. Good. It takes me like 
At least 15 miles to arrive to the day. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing good. Hell yeah. I'm doing great. I mean, it's, it's beautiful up here. We're riding through a winter wonderland. <laughs> Oh, I thought I wasn't going to see snow again until winter time in Boulder. It's been super hot back home. <laughs> so this is a different, this is a change of pace for sure. Merry Christmas, David. Yes. How you feeling? Uh, where's Santa? <laughs> <laughs> like the snow is just barely sitting on the pine. It's beautiful. When's the last time you saw snow? Oh boy. We didn't have a heavy winter this week or this year. You live in Oklahoma, yeah, right? Yeah, we don't get a lot of it. <laughs> so you came through here in 2022 and it was a different scene, right? Yeah, 2022 was kind of named the snow year very abnormal situation where where we're riding right now was covered in old snowpack and then uh, the pass right after this there was a lot of people that got caught out got hyperthermic and the search and rescue had to come helicopter them out wow so to be riding here right now this is a treat so you had, to, pu you had to push last time oh yeah we had to push on this pass all the way around this back side where we're going and I was about four hours of hike a bike. Wow. So this is better. This is great. <laughs> I'll take sloppy mud over hike a bike any day. Yeah. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Man. Makes you feel alive being out here. Yee right in the middle of the elements. Yeah. Hey, bear, hey, bear. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> good, did good. You, did you sleep right here last night? Yeah, we just. In the little dell there. It's like it was snowing pretty hard. Yeah. It was just, you know, after midnight, it was time to call it. I was, uh, it was after midnight, I was afraid of turning into a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, you know? exactly. So, uh, you can't stay out past midnight. That's right. Yeah, your so, wife uh, says no, none of that. These downhills are fun, and you gain a lot of ground. Right, 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 I can't even talk. You gain a lot of ground quickly, but man, it's cold. It is so cold. Burr! <laughs> Give me another uphill. <laughs> All right, now it is time to go up pass number two for the day. And at some point we're gonna hit something called the wall. It's another very, very steep hike a bike, but much shorter than Coco. So hopefully it's not too muddy and snowy, we'll see. It's time to meet another new friend. We've got Josh from Australia, and today is a big day. Why? Redemption day, Ryan. Yeah, what happened two years ago? Two years ago, fell off my bike, broke six ribs, going down Gauton Pass. That was a terrible day, but redemption day is today. Yeah. We're on the trail up to Gauton Pass. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it, buddy. Yeah, man. No whammies, no whammies. <laughs> So I can only imagine that you have been dreaming about this day since that day two years ago. Oh, it's been going through my head so many times. What to do, what to take, what to pack, how to train, what bike to take. But yeah, it's all coming to fruition now. Nice. I can feel it. Good, good. Gonna, it's going to happen. Yeah, it is, man. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, but I feel the bad part, isn't it? Today has been really beautiful. It seems like we're being hugged by the trees. The trees seem closer to us today than any other day so far. And I'm liking it. I'm a tree hugger. So I like it when they hug back.
little bit of sketchy single track here. Woo! Hey. Oh shit! Ooh. Maybe not a good idea to have my camera in my hand for this. A little log here. All right, we're moving. We're moving. Woo! Sloppy. Oh yeah. This is the fun part. So this is this is the wall. This is what we signed up. This is what we signed up for. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Looks slippery. There goes Josh. Up the wall. Dragging his bike up there. Go, Josh, go! Go, Josh, go! You got this! Do it for Australia! Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! <laughs> Boy, this is so steep. Wow. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> Oh my god. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. What makes it extra, extra stress, huh. what makes it extra sketchy is that you fall to the left, you're going down a ravine. Oh, oh. oh my God. This is, this is crazy. Wow. Oh, this is by far the hardest hike a bike I've ever done. Oh. <sighs> Whoa! That's insane. You did it, man. Yeah, man. Oh. I'm glad I left my waterproof socks on. The wall, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Congratulations. Well done, Ryan. Good it job. Was it was so hot. Oh my god. It really makes me feel like a weakling. <laughs> like I need to do some upper body exercises. And you don't realize how heavy your bike is when you're riding and then when you try to pick it up. Oh boy. My right arm is hurting. <laughs> we, did it, we did it. We did it. Yeah, we're moving forward. That's the yeah. point. Here we go. Our celebration for going up the wall. <laughs> Looks like deer poop. Chocolate covered almonds, what are you eating? I have a Reese's Pieces, no, Reese's Peanut Butter O. Henry bar. Ooh, O. Henry. Mm, tastes good, recommend. And now we're heading up the final pass in Canada, Dalton Pass. Dun 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 dun. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. That was one of my favorite stories when I was a kid. And that message has stayed with me all throughout my life. It's amazing how influential a children's book can be. You know, the first time I heard that book, I was probably five. Now I'm 45, 40 years later, still thinking of it. The power of storytelling goes a long way. I just remembered that today is Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to my dad and all the dads out there. 
Without my dad, I wouldn't be here struggling up this hill. <laughs> and even though this is hard right now, I sure am grateful for this life. So thank you, Dad. I love you. <sighs> Whew. I'm gonna celebrate Father's Day by getting up and over this in your honor. Uh-oh, that snow's getting close. We'll see if we have hike a bike through the snow later. <laughs> you know how when it snows, the world is just so quiet. I love the solitude. All I'm hearing right now are sounds of my tires, the crumple of my pants as they hit the frame, and a tiny little sound of the snow pitter pattern on the pine trees. And Josh behind me. Yeah. How you doing, bud? Doing it, man. Doing it, doing it. All right. I made it to the top of Dalton Pass. Oh, feels good. Now it's, from what I've been told, downhill all the way to the U.S. border. Oh, man. Snowflakes, tastes good. <laughs> Woo Thank you, Canada! <laughs> all right, time to cruise. So I'm screaming down this hill and I think I see a grizzly bear. And it's just this guy right here. Hi there, hi there, how are you? Did you come to say hi? <laughs> but I have new Canadian friends, how are you doing? Good, really good, Ryan. Thanks good, for coming good. to say hi. Oh, no, oh we, were, yeah. we wanted to, we've, we've been, been watching you on the it. tracker and so uh, we've been excited about it. We said, oh, we gotta go today and oh. catch you before you cross the border. I really appreciate that. Yeah, and we're yeah. actually gonna be at Ragbray this year. Oh, you are? We joined, yeah. yeah. So oh, fun. I'm, I'm not sure if you're gonna be there. It's I not, will be, oh yeah, I'll be done. That's what we thought. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Thank you so much for coming out. Bye. Bye, bye. bye bye. Oh Canada, our home and native land. <laughs> oh, that was really sweet of them to come say hi. Whew, here we go, three miles from the United States. These are my last views of Canada for a while, at least on this trip. Thank you Canada and the Canadian people for being so welcoming. Welcome to the USA! How cool. And when I got to the border guy, he's like, Oh, you have a kickstand! Nobody has a kickstand! <laughs> That's right. Montana. Here we go, Montana. Big sky country. <laughs> right now, all I see are big clouds. I am now in Eureka and I have fond memories of this place when I did the divide back in 2020. And now the goal is to find some food. I am so happy right now. You wanna know why? Because I have a chocolate milkshake <laughs> and, and a veggie burger with fries. Life is so good. Mm. I win. <laughs> and my guy Martin got himself some shrimp tacos and a burger, two meals, man. Yeah. That was the best veggie burger of my life. <laughs> Might be because I'm starving, but uh, I don't care. It was so good. All right, I'm gonna head down south a little bit and uh, see where I go, see where I end up. It's 4 p.m. Being right here, right now on this stretch of road is bringing back so many vivid memories, great memories of when I started the Great Divide in 2020. And four years ago, I was so excited. I was living out a dream, finally doing the Great Divide and heading out into Montana. Oh, and here I am again, doing it again, but just a little bit faster. And it's still a dream. Life is good. Oh, what a beautiful day. Woo, yes. 
It's happening! So it was sunny for a second, but now it looks nasty again. I've had enough of being cold and wet. It's not quite as far as I'd like to go today, 80 miles, but that's all right. I'm a couple miles off route. I will go that way tomorrow and get back on route and have a big day and life is good. And look at this place. Look at this place. So cute. Wish I was staying longer. Look at that. Well, I sure am glad I got this cabin right now because it is wet and rainy and very, very cold. Oh, I'm so thankful for this. It looks like a bomb went off here. I'm charging over there. I've got clothes down here, clothes on the floor. I've got my tent fly over here drying off because it was soaked this morning. And I'm drying some other things over here. And uh, yeah, this is a very romantic little cabin. Oh, cool hairdo, man, yeah. It is time for a shower. Woo! Oh my God. Woo this is the best shower of my life. See that fluffy hair? That's what my hair looks like when it's clean. I even use shampoo. Oh, I feel so much better. It is 8.30 p.m. I'm going to try to go to bed soon because I want to wake up early and get out there, which is Hard to go to bed now because there's light streaming through the windows. It never gets dark in Montana. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what a wonderful day. It really was. And uh, it feels like an accomplishment to have like section one done. Canada, boom, got it, done. <laughs> Onward, 2,400 more miles in the United States. Let's do this. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're so wonderful. And today's his birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. How you doing? Give me a high five. Yeah, happy birthday. Hello, my friends. Thanks for watching episode three of the Tour Divide. I think my arm is still sore from dragging my bike up the wall. It's a lot harder than it looks. So hey, if you would like to support my channel, if you want to help me keep this channel alive so I can continue making bikepacking videos for you, please consider joining my Patreon. For as little as $5 a month, you will get early access videos with no ads. You'll have direct access to chat with me about whatever you want. And every now and then, I do these really cool virtual burrito dinners where the patrons get to come in and we just have a fun little chat session. Also, I did write a book last year. This is about my very first bike packing adventure when I rode my bicycle from Honduras to Boulder after I was a Peace Corps volunteer. Check that out. And I also have some of these for sale, the Olay socks. This is a fundraiser for bike packing roots. They do amazing things to keep us bike packers happy and our land and environment clean and happy. These are wool and made in the USA. Fundraiser for bike packing roots. And this is a fundraiser for me, so I can pay my mortgage. All right, we'll see you for the next episode.